Hi. What I want to do today is to show you a little bit about using the All Relatives diagram and a few options for getting the diagram the way you want it where possible. So what we're going to do is start off with Anthony Edward Munro, click on the All Relatives diagram and also I can click on the World button to get the whole diagram on the screen. And you can see that he's selected and with his flanked by his two wives. Now what you'll see here is that it's only showing him and his wives, although there's information for both of their fathers and re other relatives further back up the tree. The reason they're not shown is because that the diagram only shows blood relatives and spaces of blood relatives on the diagram. Now you can improve that slightly by selecting two people that are, who are a couple and then redisplaying the diagram. And what you'll see now is that now both of them are the root and you've actually got the ancestors for Susan as well as the ancestors for Anthony. But this hasn't actually helped with Julia Fish. And obviously if I select them as a couple then we will lose Susan's relations. Now the best solution for this is to start by moving this into a chart mode and adding another diagram. So what we can do is we can go to Julia and we can say insert into diagram and what I'm going to do is insert an all relatives tree for Julia and you can see because I had her selected it's automatically defaulted to her and it's used the same settings as the diagrams currently using. So if I click OK on that it will have added another diagram but not necessarily in a very good place. So as you can see it's down here. So what I can do is pick it up and move it. So what I can see now is Julie is there and as you can see she hasn't got very many relatives on this particular file, she has just a note for her father. So what I can do now is I've right clicked on the um, Anthony's box in the second tree and told it to hide it. Now this means now that Julia's actually got two very close boxes and there's only one box there. Now in some cases you could actually go very carefully and overlay one on the other and that would work fine. But obviously if she had more relations then that wouldn't be very practical. But for this occasion we can actually cheat and actually overlay one box on the other. So as you can see we just added in a father but we've got some crossing lines. Again, this is really up to you. And you, what you can also see here is because we've got these two boxes stuck one on top of the other, we've actually got the little yellow icon there. So what I'm going to do is grab the zoom tool, just zoom in on that area of the diagram, and you can see that we can move that around so we get one overlaid on the other, but we still need to get rid of this box. Now, if you haven't got any duplicate checking requirements within your diagram, probably the simplest thing is to go to diagram options, go down to check for duplicates and turn it off. If I apply that, the yellow box is gone and we've now got a diagram with both sets of relations on. Now obviously if you had to keep the tree further away you wouldn't want to do that, you could just simply um, leave the linking in and it will show that and you can use that same technique to add in any other odd people that are missing from your tree because they're not actually directly related to the root of the diagram so what I can do now is I can go up and save the diagram of the family historian chart I need to do this because it's actually a chart now because it's got two trays on it so if I want to get it back again I need to save it as a chart so I'm going to save that as all the Munros and click OK. So what I can do now if I shut my chart down to get my chart back I can't just use the All Relatives Diagram button because it'll that's a standard diagram it will just regenerate from whoever I've got selected. So in order to bring back my chart I need to go to View, Save Charts, pick up all the Munros and click Open. And as you can see I've got my chart back with all my options on. Now obviously at this point you can also do other things. You can insert into diagrams all the other possibilities, so text boxes, pictures, etc. 